Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. Stuart, your expectations? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Team. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. up today. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Brian Cristante starts alongside Nemanja Matic in the centre of midfield and operating through the middle in attack is Tammy Abraham. Really looking forward to this contest and it's Milan who get things started. Olivier Giroud, Rafael Leao, Diaz, will it be? Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Plenty of options. Opportunity, off the post and back in play. Well, the keeper has it, and all is well. Well, it is now, but the striker did everything right, barring a couple of inches. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. Well, every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line, and Olivier Giroud falls in that category. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Brahim. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Matic. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Zalewski. Tammy Abraham. An alert piece of defending. Brahim. Good visualisation and execution. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Rick Carsdorf. Tammy Abraham. Zaniolo. And cleared away. A corner kick it'll be. Yeah. 
let's see about the delivery and there it is 1-0 their efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So back on the way, and here's the question, can Milan articulate the right reply? Gabia. Junior Messias. Well, they keep the ball moving. Diaz. You can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Rick Karsdorp and it's with Mancini Matic Matic Cristante can he finish and the keeper stretching to deny him Playing it in. Well, still an issue here. Danger averted for now. And he has options available. Zaniolo. Opportunity here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Brahim. to get tighter here tremendously strong in the tackle well the fans are going mad here they think that was a penalty it is to be a throw in Rick Karsdorp. Matic. Tammy Abraham. They've regained possession. Brahim. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. Benacer. Can he put them in front? Just cleared away in the nick of time. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Nicolo Zaniolo. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Brahim. Great pressure to win the ball back. A very effective clearance. Benacer. Could take the lead. 
Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Well, as they say in French, Olivier Giroud has that savoir-faire. He knows what he's doing in this one, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Matic. On to Abraham. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, after that setback, let's see if Milan can come up with an effective response. Olivier Giroud. And they find a gap in the defence. Giroud. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Pellegrini. Rick Karsdorp. Abraham! Rafael Leao. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things round here. Nicolo Zaniolo. Masic on the ball. Good movement. This looks threatening. Now, will they do it from here? And a goal! Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Thirty minutes left for play, and Milan looking dangerous. Delightful pass, but he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Benasser. Real chance. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, the ball is rolling again, and Milan find themselves within touching distance here.
throw-in is given. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. El Sharawi, and now with Abraham. Cristante. Interception to snuff out the danger. Pellegrini. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Is it going to be? That is a tackle and a half. The Cape Delare Well, not long left now, but these Milan fans still believe they can get back into this one. Well, they keep passing away. Might be a chance here. And still looking for space. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Pellegrini. Rebic. Well, the second half is drawing to a close and work to do for Milan, Stuart. Well, they're still in with a chance here, but can they produce one more big moment before the end? Mind you, this has been a really good game. And he takes on the shot and the keeper throws himself at the ball. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, they draw the here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, you've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Mohamed Madi Kamara. Nice looking pass. Lovely ball. What a save. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Can he put them in front? He does. And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. So there we have it. The referee blows for full time and frustration for Milan, whatever way you look at it. What did you think of their performance as a whole?
Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal.